you know, Jimmy's probably the strongest of, of the three of us. Um, he, he's got a really good record there. And, and it's been a very up and down racetrack for us, you know, in, in, in the past. And we really didn't get a sense of where we stood competition wise because I had that the, the ACL problem uh, immediately uh, that weekend. So I never really got a chance to see how my car was really going to run that weekend. Um, so we don't really know where we stand. All, all we can kind of go by is, is, is our last three short track races, mile or less. Uh, we've got, you know, a, a two wins and a second, uh, dating back to Richmond, Martinsville, and now Loudon, New Hampshire. So that kind of gives us a good indication that we should be good when we go to Phoenix. Uh, so that's a, a little bit more encouraging. So we know we're going to need to be good because we know the competition uh, between those other two guys should be, um, should be pretty stiff. We'll probably have, have to win the race to gain points on either one of them. Winning late in the chase is is such a helpful tool. I mean, especially going into Homestead and the way it's unfolded for us the last uh, three years. You know, there's been some hope, and it's been great for us to go to Phoenix and just kind of end the hope, you know, and only give it a, a like a numerical chance in Homestead. Um, it's it's been a really good track for us, really since the start of my career. I've always run the, run well there, and uh, and I hope. Again, to send that message. I mean, it, it was such a good feeling to climb on the plane to head home after you win there and you go to Homestead. And the week of PR that leads into the race, um, it's nice to roll in on a high. It really makes that week go by a lot faster. Yeah, I think I think the biggest thing for me is that's where I grew up. I started racing, you know, Southwest Tour cars there and, and have raced Winston West cars and trucks. And I just have so many laps around the place that you know where every crack and crevice is around the whole place. So. Uh, most of the racetracks that we raced on on the West Coast were relatively flat, so I think that the, that has carried over into my Cup and Nationwide and Truck career as far as uh, the tracks that we're, we seem to run really good at. Yeah, Phoenix has been one of my favorite tracks to go to. As the first place I ever raced on pavement, so um, that's uh, that was a big deal to me to go out there in the USAC Silver Crown cars, and and so I spent a lot of nights laying in my bed thinking about Phoenix and how to run that place, and you know. Um, We've had a lot of a lot of success there in the nationwide series. I, th I think we sat on the pole there, maybe in the Cup car or qualified second, led a bunch one time, uh, and that was good. And it is it's a it's a driver's racetrack. It's a track that the driver can make a big difference on. Obviously, your car has to be set up, you know, really well. But um, but once the car is perfect, then it's up to the. It, that's the track that it truly comes down to the driver.